Viewers, this is your boy Amari Points here, bringing you the latest uh, YouTube video. Today, I'm I know I'm a little late, and I decided to do a vid of my top five summer movies. Like I said, I know I'm a little late on that, and I just thought, uh, why not do it? Because I've seen a lot of other people do it, and I figured, why not do my top five favorites? So I'm gonna be starting off from five and all the way down to one. So yeah, my top five, my five, my top five, my is Ant Man and the Wasp because I know uh, that this movie takes place right before Avengers: Infinity War, as most of you already saw. Yeah, I thought like it was a great way to like. Uh, to unwind from all like the tear jerking moments and plus we get to see like Evangeline Lilly get into action as Wasp and she was just a total badass in this along with Paul Rudd as Scott as Scott and he he was also a total badass uh, Scott's been under house arrest for like two years now since the events of Captain America Civil War as most of you already know you can check out my movie review on that and on my channel. And what I loved uh, most about this movie uh, is that it was just a pretty funny Saturday morning cartoon movie that everyone, I believe, enjoyed, including myself. And Michael Pena, as always, he's always he's always funny in like the ant uh, in movies like this, especially in the first Ant Man movie. He was hilarious. And in this one, he was just so funny as ever. I love what I loved most about this movie is that well, if you're a Marvel fan, you just have to go. You have to go see this movie. You literally have to go see it because it's just one of those hilarious movies that you'll and you'll enjoy seeing. And I recommend seeing this movie, especially before it comes out on DVD. And uh, what else I can tell you is that well. Uh, I can't spoil the ending, but you guys are going to definitely be shocked by the ending for sure. I r highly recommend, if you're a Marvel fan, s stay after the credits like always. Your mind's going to be blown after you see what happens. I definitely love the charisma and funny jokes in this movie. And funny jokes in this movie. Sorry if I'm getting distracted, guys. Um, yeah, it was just humorous and just enjoyable. I loved, I loved seeing this movie, especially since I'm a Marvel fan. I'm, I have a complete blast enjoying all, all the Marvel movies, like really. And on to my fourth, my fourth movie is. Incredibles 2. This movie was definitely worth the 14, um, 15 year wait. And it topped, it literally, it literally topped all of the Disney Pixar movies in general. I just loved, I just loved seeing Incredibles 2. And if they, and if they make a third one, please don't make us wait fi another 15 years for that sequel. Just, just let us wait until like 2020 or so, in tw 2020 or so, and just, well, just don't make us wait so long. I mean, really, I don't want to wait too long, but never mind that. All in all, what I can say about this Disney Pixar movie, we get to see a lot of new superheroes and this new uh, villain called Screen's uh, Slaver, I believe, which kind of was just a disappointing villain. It was just another disappointing villain with another lame motive. But we get to see Elastigirl step up in this movie and just see her be like the main like a main protagonist in this movie as always. And also you won't believe this but we get to see Jack-Jack use his powers. Yeah that's right. 
Jack Jack has powers. If you didn't see like near the ending of the first Incredibles movie, he has powers. And uh, his powers were just legit awesome. I loved every single moment that he had in this movie, especially with the squirrel, I mean with the raccoon, as most of you already saw in the movie. Uh, yeah. And in the previews. He battles a raccoon. He legit battles a raccoon. So that was pretty uh, awesome as well. I loved what I can tell you is that Jack Jack was and Elastigirl were the two main protagonists that stole the show in this movie. And and what I can tell you is that this was definitely the perfect summer movie that was worth seeing. I I also recommend to see this movie because well it's uh, it's Incredibles 2 and you'll definitely want to see uh, Jack Jack in this movie and on to my third pick my third pick of all time is tag the movie uh, it's about and it's based on the actual true story about grown-ups playing the game tag and that was just hilarious. Jeremy Renner, he was legit badass in this movie. We now know where Hawkeye was during the events of Infinity War. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. Jeremy Renner, he was like, like I said, he was a legit badass. He was doing a lot of ninja moves and all that stuff in this movie. I was wondering throughout the whole time, is, is Jeremy Renner a... a fucking ninja or something excuse my language yeah I was cracking up throughout the whole throughout all the scenes he did with the rest of his castmates I was like wow like whoa I was they're they're doing some crazy stuff just to get Jeremy Renner because Jeremy Renner's character has never been tagged throughout the 30 years they've been playing None whatsoever. I was just, I was shocked. And also, there are a lot of funny moments in this movie that you'll be cracking up in your seat, and you'll have, to, you'll probably pee your pants too as well too. I, I loved seeing this movie. I really did, because. Because, well, this comedy is just something that everybody needed to have a good laugh at. If this movie gets a sequel, like seriously gets a sequel, I would pay like literally good money to go see the sequel for sure. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I really would. I really would go see this movie if it got a sequel. And all in all, all in all, the cast and everything was great. I loved how, like, this movie tag was based on true events about people, grown men playing tag and everything. That was just, that was really inspiring. It proved that you're never too old to play, like, kitty games such as tag. You're never too old to play tag. Literally, you're not. And my second my second my second out of my top five mo summer movies is Christopher Robin as most of you saw in my review I said that this uh, this is a movie about Christopher Robin the old, his adult self being just a dull boring villain who doesn't know uh, I mean a dull bur boring adult who just is who just doesn't know how to have fun anymore until he sees his old uh, friend Winnie the Pooh and tells him that all of his friends have gone missing so Christopher Robin helps him helps him by go find, by uh, going with him to find his friends and just learning how to have fun again and 
I love the one quote uh, from from the movie uh, where Pooh says, "What day is it?" and Christopher Robin answers, "It's today." That and Pooh says, "That's my favorite of all days." I think that's how I remember it because Pooh is right. Pooh is right. We have to live life to the fullest, and it and know that life just passes us by really quickly and we don't even know it so he teaches us how to like treasure every single moment in our lives by just enjoying it and having fun with the people you love also what else I can love I can tell you I love about this movie is that it brought back so many childhood memories of when I would when I was a little kid and I loved watching Winnie the Pooh oh my god that was just so that was so touching for the people who want for people who enjoy uh, who enjoy just great movies great Disney movies I recommend seeing Christopher Robin because you'll have so many childhood no st uh, nostalgia from this movie reminding you why we love Winnie the Pooh and everything else. I know I will never forget this movie and when it comes out on DVD I'll definitely buy it. Uh, I highly recommend seeing this movie if you haven't seen it yet. Go into theaters grab your ticket for this movie and just go see it. This was one of my all-time favorite summer movies of all time. And now the final movie, my number one pick is definitely Avengers Infinity War. This movie uh, was worth the 10 year buildup that we all been waiting for. The battle with Thanos, he, him collecting all the Infinity Stones, having Thor meet the Guardians of the Galaxy, telling him he has to go to this planet to find uh, a hammer that can defeat Thanos, and we see the battle in Wakanda. That was awesome. It was epic. I can't tell you what all happens, but this movie is was definitely worth the 10 year build up. We see a lot of our favorite Marvel superheroes that we've seen in the MCU come together in this one huge movie to fight the baddest of all bad guys, Thanos. I, myself, when I first saw this movie, I knew it was going to be epic. I just, no words can describe how epic this movie was. Josh Brolin as Thanos though, he fit the bill. He definitely fit the bill. I could not applaud him any more for playing this one bad guy Thanos. We seen a lot of ep uh, epic team ups. We seen so many different cameos and a lot of other stuff that will blow your mind like right out of the door so yeah I know that this summer movie will go down in history for everyone that will remember this huge team up with all of our favorite Marvel superheroes and definitely it already came out on DVD but definitely go buy the DVD watch it and see your mind get blown away like straight up get your mind blown away I know I did I literally did so anyway that's it for my top five summer movies this year don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and be sure to comment below your top five summer movies of this year because
because I want to hear what your guys' favorite summer movies were this year. And also, press that little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next video is. And be sure to follow me on the Stardust app at Amari106 for my latest movie reaction and trailer reaction. You won't be disappointed. So, take care and God bless. Peace!